Hello friends, my name is Ritu Sachdev. In the last tutorial, I have introduced you with Bootstrap to make your web pages responsive very easily. Now, in this tutorial, I am going to focus some light on some classes which you can apply to your images which also comes along with Bootstrap. As Bootstrap is not limited to its responsive utilities, it has several other features and functionalities too. So, I am going to show you some cool classes which you can apply to your images to enhance their look. Before we start, let me preview up the classes which we are going to apply in this document. See this image is having thin border along with it. So, this is the class which can be applied to images which are having white background to differentiate them along with text. On the second image you can see I have rounded corners and the third image you can see there is a circle. So let's get started. Here I have already opened up Adobe Dreamware CS6 and the document on which I am going to work. I have created this document in my last tutorial. Let me show you up the preview. See, this is the document. Let me also show you the tutorial on which I have created this document to make this web page responsive. The tutorial in which I have created is this apply bootstrap make web pages responsive very easily. Now I will continue with this document to understand some more cool classes which we can apply to our images in document. You might have noticed in the comment box I have mentioned to use meta tag. Meta name is equal to viewport content is equal to width is equal to device dash width initial dash scale is equal to 1. I have also copy and pasted up this tag. This means that at the initial stage, we are going to say our browser to behave responsive. Now, before proceeding further, let me also sum up very fast that how I have installed this bootstrap.css to my document. In the last tutorial, I have explained in detail. If you want to learn how can we install bootstrap to our document, you can watch this earlier tutorial of mine. But let me sum up very fast for those who have not watched my earlier tutorial. To install bootstrap to your document, first you have to go to getbootstrap.com. Download bootstrap. The current version is version 3.2.0. Now download bootstrap. When you will click on download bootstrap, you have to download source. Now when you will download source, in the download folder, you have zipped file of bootstrap 3.2.0 you have to unzip it extract this folder and inside this folder you have a dist folder which is the heart of bootstrap when you will open dist folder you have to copy this three files some javascript file css file and some fonts related file you have to copy and paste it in your local folder now This is our local folder. I have already pasted up this three folders in it. Now inside CSS folder, I have just linked up this bootstrap.css. You can also link minified version for this file. Both the files are same. Just bootstrap.min is the minified version. Similarly, for this tutorial, I have also linked up bootstrap-theme.min. Link boot, bootstrap dash theme dot CSS. Now I would also like you to know one more thing. You can also have this meta tag from bootstrap website also. Inside CSS tab, you can copy and paste this meta tag to your document in the head section. 
Now let's begin to apply some classes to our images. Now the first class I would like to apply on this image which is having white background along with it. So here is the image. You can see I have given a class pull left to it. In my last tutorial if I will make it like pull right. Let's save up. Let's refresh. See the image is now on the right side. When I will make it pull left, it is on the left side. See. One more thing guys. If I am not having this pull left class, this will make my text to shift down. Let me show you. See. So, better to mention pull left or pull right along with this type of media image. So, pull left and here I have used a class img dash responsive which makes our images to render responsive along with our web page. Now the third class I would like to give is img dash thumbnail. Let's save up. Now keep your eyes on this image. Let me refresh my page. See, as I have given pull left, so the text is along with image now and the image is on the left side and the class thumbnail is giving my image rounded corners to it. A thin border is there along with my image which separates it from the text. Now the second class I would like to apply on this third image. So this is the image. If you want to learn in detail what this img dash responsive class is, you can watch my last tutorial on it. Now img dash rounded. Let's save up. Let's refresh. You keep your eye on the third image. See now this image is having rounded corners. Earlier these were sharp corners. Now the third class let me have it on this second image. Let me go to the image. This class is very interesting class. Now let's give it a class img dash circle. Let's save up. Let's refresh. See now I have a nice circle on my image. It's a circular image now. So this is done friends. And if you like this video of mine, do thumbs it up. And if you want to learn these subjects directly from me, do contact me. Do not forget to subscribe me. Have a good day. Bye-bye.